as you can see, Spotify has taken over the teenage market. If this trend keeps on going, then Spotify will have the entire teenage realm and they will rule what teenagers listen to. <laughs> Alright, so what's the dealio folks with Spotify and then the bots and they're threatening to take off your music if you use bots. Nobody should be using bots anyways unless you're making music for bots. As I speak, Judas Priest has released I think a couple of tracks and they are eventually going to be on Spotify, but they were released on YouTube Music as well. A lot of videos. Ace freely released a YouTube video recently. For, I guess it's through that Vivo account as we're talking about this. And this is for a demographic more my age versus the younger demographic. And that's what you need to really consider. If I should be posting my music on Spotify, if they're not paying diddly squat, why are we wasting our time on a market share that doesn't reflect us? And so I have the data reports in front of me of 2023. Now again, take this. Oh, you got you got to take it with a grain of salt. I know a little bit about how these companies operate and how they uh, gather their information. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Let's go by theory here. Let's not go by fact because people nowadays, especially with as much money as YouTube and Spotify makes, if they are really not in bed with each other, there's a real war going on. If they are in bed with each other, then as far as music, uh, we are up for a problem here. So when, the, when you look at the demographic, when you look at the demographic age with YouTube, and I'm just going to buy YouTube videos as well because here's the thing people not only just watch it from the music there is the YouTube music app which you can get but I believe a lot of people are not even worried about that but let's just focus on YouTube in general YouTube the highest uh, demographic is from 25 years of age to 34 years of age whereas Spotify's highest demographic is from 25 to 34 years of age, folks. They both tie in that demographic. But let's get up to the 45 to 55 plus, uh, five plus areas. When it comes to listening to music, Spotify owns that demographic as well. Meaning that the age group that you are targeting if you're targeting 40 or plus listens to Spotify probably just as much as they listen to YouTube and again like I said with YouTube music app we're not talking about YouTube music app we're talking about regular YouTube you're looking at the feature that you're not winning in the situation so the issue comes down to Spotify is not paying their artists as much as YouTube. Come on, man. Every other song that I release as a single will not go on Spotify. And I want to see what difference it will actually make. If I'm getting pennies for Spotify, am I just wasting my time on Spotify when I have developed a YouTube audience? Yeah, that makes sense. Because a lot of you right now, you are there if you drop to Spotify. If you're playing on Instagram and your audience is from Instagram and Twitch, do you really need to release your music on Spotify? That's something that needs to be done. Maybe a Spotify boycott from YouTube artists is a way to go. I don't know. Now, a lot of people are blaming the distribution companies. And one of these days, I'm going, to vote, I'm going to go over why I chose DistroKid over YouTube, not YouTube Music, but TunesCore. And I'll go over all that and how that came about and why I've become so sold on DistroKid, even though this Spotify controversy, which is the fact that Spotify 
will uh, will boot you off if you use bots. DistroKid, uh, as far as licensing the cover song, it's cheaper to go through DistroKid than it is going through, you know, the Fox Agency, which is a lot of people use to license a song. And DistroKid has become just simpler to use, and that's the reason why a lot of people go with it. And I just, I just want to get my music out there. And I think it's a nice little temporary thing until you get to the big game, and eventually some of you will. Don't forget to submit your songs to the songwriting contest and those things as well. So we got to keep that in mind as well. So there you go, folks. Is it important? Is it necessary to have that music on Spotify? And that's what I want to discuss with you. Comment below. Let me know in the section before. It has changed my mind to say that, yes, you do need to go to Spotify because you can pull up the data, Google it, use your chat GPT, use your artificial intelligence, find out how, what your demographic is, and it looks like Spotify has covered my demographic. So it makes sense for me to stay with Spotify. You guys have a wonderful day, and keep on writing those songs.